Unfortunately, the biggest threat to turtles are human beings, whether it's plastic ingestion, um, entanglement, uh, or boat strikes. Uh, we're the, the biggest risk to these beautiful animals. By raising awareness, by letting people know what they can do to, to protect them is, is an important step to take. Um, and we're thrilled that with the support of, of Jumeirah and, and the team, we can get that message out to make sure that uh, we protect the, all marine life here in the UAE. So Dubai Turtle Rehabilitation Project was established by Jumeirah Group in 2004 to help rehabilitate turtles here in the pools at Al Nasim and obviously the Seven Star Turtle Center in, in Burj Al Arab with the aquarium. Thanks to the team of, 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 of Burj Al Arab, um, they've saved 2,000 turtles um, and released them back into the wild. We track them, we try to get as much information as possible. Um, and me personally, I've, I've been involved having saved two turtles in the last year. Um, it's, been, it's been an absolute honor and pleasure to be able to work with them. The story of Farah is an emotional one. I was free diving off an island uh, called Sir Bunair and unfortunately found Farah caught up in discarded fishing wire. Uh, so I swam down about seven meters where I found her and brought her to the surface. And as I brought her up about a meter before the surface, I felt the tug and I saw the fishing line. So we cut it away, uh, got as much of the fishing line uh, away as possible. And luckily for the seven star treatment at Burj Al Arab, she was rehabilitated over the last nine months. And we've been fortunate enough now to, to release her today. It's tough to say goodbye to a turtle that I've gotten to know over, over the last um, sort of nine months. but. Um, at the same time, it's so wonderful to see that thanks to the work of, of Jumeirah Group and the Dubai Turtle Rehabilitation Project, um, she's fit, she can swim even with one flipper and, and she, gets back, she gets to go back to, to where she belongs. The initiative uh, started in 2004 when the Wildlife Protection Office realized that there is no facilities, there is a need for facilities to rehabilitate sea turtles. And the uh, project is run uh, by Jumeirah Group in both Burj Al Arab and Jumeirah Al Nasim uh, hotels. Uh, we count with the support of the Dubai Falcon Clinic for the veterinary care and the uh, CBRL for the laboratory work and post mortem research. Um, we have uh, the project consists of three phases the rescue. Part of the project is done by the general public and some environmental authorities that gives us a call and brings us animals in. Normally the animals are either sick or injured and then as a consequence of their illness they get a lot of barnacles growing on them as well. Uh, it is very important for the public to know not to remove the barnacles because you can actually damage the animal. Then the animals are brought to us. We have the critical care facilities in Burj Al Arab in the back of house of the aquariums there. And when the animals get better we bring them to Jumeirah Al Nasim Turtle Lagoons where we can monitor the last stages of the rehabilitation to make sure that the animals are strong and healthy before they go back into their natural environment. Um, we normally have mainly hawksbill and green turtles. Occasionally we also do have loggerheads and olive ridley turtles. All the sea turtles in the world are in danger with extinction. And every single animal we save is a very important milestone in what we do because also these are migratory species and whatever we do here has a global impact. Today we had 11 juvenile turtles, uh, well, 10 juvenile and one like medium-sized turtle, a mix of hawksbill and green turtles. And then we had three adult turtles. Uh, we had a female turtle called Farah, that's Shaifa Fahim al Hasimi named because he rescued her. We had a very big male named Jumeida. He's around 90 kilograms of weight. And then we have a loggerhead, a female loggerhead turtle that was named through our social media contest, NACAR, which means the mother of pearl. They were fitted today with satellite transmitters, which are courtesy of His Highness Shef uh, That really helps us understanding the success of the rehabilitation project because we get to know that the animals are doing fine and we get to follow them on their travel. And uh, also we get to understand a little bit more about their complex biology and what areas they go to. Uh, we had one turtle tracked in the past that traveled all the way from Fujaira to Thailand. That's 8,600 kilometers in nine months. So that really tells you what is the impact of the project. It's really transboundary impact at a global scale. We are launching the toll-free number uh, in coordination with Chef Ahim, which is 800 turtle, so that we make it very easy for anyone that finds a sea turtle that is injured or stranded on the beach to just give us a call and we can help.